It's great to be joined by Juan Singleton, who has one of the busiest and most interesting jobs in all of the low country, and that's keeping up with Hardyville and keeping up with what's going on in Hardyville and keeping up with all of the growth and all of the things that are happening. How you doing? You're not out of breath. That's a good sign. <laughs> uh, maybe just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> maybe just now, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's happening in Artyville? Everything. Yeah. <laughs> That's the short answer. That's for sure. But the uh, long answer is we are continuing to grow. Uh, Hardyville, I tell everybody, if you want to get in on the place to move to, it's the place to move to. We have all of the great amenities. Uh, we're just down the road from Hilton mm -hmm. Head, just down the road from Bluffton right across the bridge from Savannah. And we have you know, plenty of place for people to move in and for people to find a nice place to live. And one of the ways that we are, um, we're getting ready for all of this growth. Well, we're not getting ready because the growth is actually here. Sure. But one of the things that we want to do is when people start moving in now, one of the tasks that I was given is um, a group of us are working on a welcome packet. Mm -hmm. So when people move in, they will know exactly what to do, uh, how to get their lights turned on, their water, the different schools that we have there. And that's going to be for businesses and residents. Yeah, so. that, that's going to be terrific because mm -hmm. a lot of people are coming in. You guys are growing. It's still the fastest growing town, I think, in the state. Right. And you keep mm -hmm. annexing. You're starting to annex pieces of Georgia and North Carolina now. You're Not doing... going that far, <laughs> but getting close. <laughs> you're getting, you, yeah, you're, you're becoming so much bigger. Riding herd on all of that and, and helping us ride herd on it, mm -hmm. not just the media, but the people in Hardyville, is a, is a big job. Tell us some of the outre other outreach things you're doing there to try to stay in touch with your constituents. We do. We have a major network, and that's really what my department mm -hmm. does. We are the media department. And uh, so we have several forms of media. We have a cable access station that we run all of our meetings on so people can see what's going mm -hmm. on in the community. Plus, we have all of the social media outlets, including Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, I could go down the whole mm -hmm. litany of them, but yeah, we have all of those out there, and um, and we also document everything that's going on as well. We take our cameras out and we uh, do stories on the different events that take place. Like okay. yesterday, we had a dedication. Uh, we dedicated our new, uh, well, our soccer field mm -hmm. and our lobby in City Hall, so that's been keeping us busy. And we take still pictures, and we have all of those on our Flickr account, and all that is accessible on our website. I was going to say, the website has become critical. We see that on Hilton Head Island, where now you can access all of the meetings and all the activities and all the agendas and everything through the town's website. You're doing pretty much the same thing. And tell me the website. We are. The website is uh, pretty easy, yeah. partyvillesc.gov. Pretty easy. I can <laughs> do that. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> and one of our new features on yeah. our website that we're really excited about is Hardyville Hears and Helps. So that is for the residents that are in Hardyville, mm -hmm. and they, it's a tab right on the front page, and if they have a problem or they see something, maybe a down tree, down power lines, whatever, they can go to that tab, click on it, send a link, uh, well, send in a message mm -hmm. to our uh, departments, they will see it, and we will get on, on it as soon as we can. So quicker action uh, than and, and trying to service the folks that you've got to service. What's the population of Hardyville now? Hardyville, it is so... Or do we even know? We don't know. <laughs> yeah. it, it's roughly around... Uh, it's, it's interesting because yeah. when I started there, I started there about 12 years ago, yeah. and it was 3,000. Sure. Now we've pretty much tripled our size. Yeah. We are 9,000 plus. Okay. So, yeah, and almost, we're continuing to grow. Almost Bluffton and Buford, or almost Buford size. And then uh, pretty soon uh, you'll be taking on Bluffton, and you, you guys will be the, the, the dominant force. We're all, the great thing about that, yeah. we're all working together. That's, That's the important. great thing. We have that 278 corridor. Our mayors, they're really good friends. Uh, we have this other group called Soloco, and they work together, so it's great. And, and, and that's an important thing. They are working together. Um, you know, people think the island does its thing, Bluffton does its thing, Beaufort does its thing, Hardyville does its thing, but you are all, all tied together, obviously, and, then, uh, and, and even more now, spiritually and politically. 
Yes, sir, we um, are. All right. Well, great to talk to you again. It's hardyvillesc.gov. Juan Singleton joining us, and uh, he's the man with the answers, and, and now you can find him through the website. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. We'll be back with more of the WHHI Daily News right after this.